Hence the first of four home games in, in a fortnight uh, to look forward to on Saturday against Truro. Are you looking forward to that one? Yeah, obviously, um, like I say, another, another home game. Um, yes, yeah, a, a tough game like they all are in this, this sort of league. And yeah, just focus on ourselves. There's a bit um, with this point with first half that we try and put right and want the game to look a bit more like it did second half. Um, so yeah, that'd be the, the plan and, and the target. But you know, we've got to respect um, the opposition at this level. Um, you know, there's no no gimmies, no easy games. So you know, we've got to, got to perform at our best really to to make sure we find anything from the game. How do you assess Truro as an opposition? Um, yeah, the, um, big physical play three five two normally, but you know don't bog down too much on the opposition because that can change when they come here. So yeah, just every every opponent we don't take lightly, we don't underestimate and we know that it's going to be a, a tough game and um, one that they'll no doubt feel that they can get sent from. But yeah, like I say, we just look at ourselves a little bit more and, and what we can do better and you know, there's still plenty for us to be working on. Obviously, last time out FA Cup here against Whitehawk, um, just on the draw for the next round, we've been handed a home tie against Bath City to be played next week. Uh, what's your thoughts on that as a draw? Yeah, um, tough draw on it. Um, they're flying high and doing well in, at this stage of the season. Um, so, yeah, um, but I think, you know, one round away from uh, the first round proper, you're not expecting a, an easy draw anyway, so yeah, it's a, a tough game, um, but yeah, one we should be looking forward to. Like I said a couple of weeks ago, it's an exciting month for the club, really. Um, FA Cup games to look forward to, um, so it's seen a cup against league opposition, plus you know, some big games in the league as well, so um, yeah, we can't get too carried away and look too far ahead, but um, it's an exciting month, but we've got to focus on, on Saturday and you know, there's, there's so much for us to focus on and get right. Um, like I say, we're, we're not putting nine minute performances together and that's what we've got to start looking to do. And just looking at the squad, uh, any team news updates? No, I don't think so. Um, all, all fit and healthy um, as far as I'm aware going into tonight's session. So yeah, we'll, we'll see how we come through that. But um, yeah, hoping for a clean bill of health um, and uh, plenty of options to shoot from. And then finally, how much, uh, so obviously we've touched on it there, um, four home games in 14 days, how much are you looking, and in three different competitions as well, how much are you looking for that to sort of galvanise the squad and, and obviously use the full squad for those competitions as well? Yeah, that's, that's what we, we've got to do. Um, you know, we've got players coming back from long-term injuries in there as well, so you know, you've got to shuffle the pack a bit. There's one or two that didn't have um, very good pre-season, so you know there's there's going to be opportunities for players um, over the next couple of weeks, and you know it's, it's down to the lads that are out there to, to um, keep the shirt for the next game. And yeah, it's going to be lots of um, we're going to have to manage the squad really well. Uh, like I say, there's lots of games and, and big games, so um, everyone's going to be called upon. Um, we need everyone um, as fit and healthy and, and, and as far and on all cylinders as possible. Um, so yeah, that's a real target for us all.